Hello and thanks for tuning in to Far Above Rubies. Today we're taking a look at Psalm chapter 101 and we're going to talk about the thought where it counts. Now we normally read from the New Living Translation here, but today I'm going to read both from the Young's Literal Translation and from the Message. We're going to read the same verse, but I want you to see the beauty of the words here. We're going to read verse 2 of Psalm chapter 101 together. In the Young's literal, it says, I will behave wisely in a perfect way. Oh, when will you come to me? I will walk habitually in the integrity of my heart in the midst of my house. In the message translation, it reads like this. I'm finding my way down the road of right living, but how long before you show up? I'm doing the very best I can, and I'm doing it at home where it counts, where it counts. Over and over again in our culture, in Western culture, we see Christians on a national stage appearing to be squeaky clean and downright perfect. No problems, no issues, no mistakes. And then suddenly they fall from faith, they fall from grace in a dramatic way. They all of a sudden, it appears, fall away from Christ. Why? Because in public they were doing the right living. When everyone was watching, they were doing the right living. They were living for Christ while everyone could see them. But in private, when no one was watching, in their private lives, they had failed to do the right living. I'm not picking on anyone. We all are capable of falling at any given time. We are one choice away from making a mistake in our walk with God. And we are also just one opportunity away from being restored in Christ if that happens. But I'm simply speaking to the fact that we can have the best reputation around town. We can have the most influence in the world, but if we are not living for God when nobody's looking, we're not living for God, period. There are no two sides to that coin. There is one side to that coin. Either we are living for God or we are not. It doesn't matter if our public persona is squeaky clean, if our heart, if where we walk in the integrity of our heart with the Lord is not right with Him, then we're not really, truly living for God. Walk in integrity where it counts. In your home, in your heart, in your private life, when no one's looking, when you leave church on Sunday and you take your hair down and you get into your pajamas, that's where it counts. Monday is where it counts. Tuesday is where it counts. The things where no one from your church knows about what's going on, where, where your social media accounts do not follow you, that's where walking in integrity with the Lord truly counts. Are you walking with God where it counts? Are you right with God where it counts in the integrity of your heart? It doesn't matter the facade that you put up. It doesn't matter what you display to social media if your heart with God is not right. Okay? Go and read Psalm chapter 101. And if no one has told you lately, you are loved and you are cherished, and you are valuable. You have beautiful and tremendous worth, my sweet friend, and that worth is far above rubies. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I will see you all again in a couple of days. God bless you.